Hello, this is Al, K0CN. I'm in the workshop with the ProSystel or PST61D rotor and the Green Heron RT21 controller. I've just finished setting up and testing the control cables and I'm ready now to turn on the power. When powered up, the beam heading is displayed in large numbers on the control unit and at this point we're ready to go. The ProSystel rotor does not come with a hard limit switch to prevent over rotation, so the controller is programmed at setup to define both clockwise and counterclockwise stops or ends of rotation. The PST rotor uses a potentiometer to indicate its position. The controller translates the voltage across this potentiometer into a digital value expressed in degrees which is then displayed on the face of the controller. When the units are new, the controller must be calibrated. This is a straightforward process and requires the use of a voltmeter and measuring the voltage across terminals 4 and 5 of the controller. Note the voltage on the far right side of the screen reads 5.4 volts. This is the exact center of rotation for the rotor. I'm setting up the rotor for a north center so the controller will read 359 or 0 degrees at this position. If I turn the rotor to its full clockwise position, the voltage should read 5.79 volts. There we have 5.79 volts. Now I'll rotate to the full counterclockwise position where it should read 5.02 volts. You'll notice this controller ramps the rotor speed through several steps as it goes from rest to full speed and also as it slows down. This is to reduce the torque stress on the tower, the antenna and the rotor. The number of steps is adjustable. Now we've reached the full counterclockwise rotation and you'll note that the voltage is 5.02 volts. Well that's it. That's a quick look at the Green Heron PST61D and I'm looking forward to the next step which is mounting it on the tower. Thanks a lot for watching.